Hey guys, how's it going? This is Jeff. We're going to go ahead and do part two of the video uh, talking about how to outsource uh, pretty much anything you want uh, via odesk.com. And if you have not signed up yet, make sure you go ahead and click on the link below this video to take you to odesk. Make sure you get signed up and you're going to want to do very, the very first thing you're going to want to do is make sure you enter a uh, payment method, either a credit card or PayPal, and get your payment method verified. This is going to basically allow you to actually pay the contractors and allow you to actually post and fulfill jobs. Without verifying your credit card, uh, you cannot do a thing. And the reason for that is they like to let their contractors know, hey, listen, this person's legitimate. They're going to pay you. And of course, it makes them look better as well if they're um, outsourcers or people, uh, I guess, job posters are paying people on time like they should be so make sure you sign up and get yourself verified as soon as possible uh, and of course once you get signed up you just want to simply go to billing and I'm recapping real quickly here and you're, once you're within billing you want to go to payment methods and you're going to simply add and verify card or add a PayPal account and is that easy now once once you want to find somebody uh, basically what I'm going to cover here is a couple of things real quickly I'm going to try to keep this somewhat short is we're going to find right now someone to write one article for me um, maybe two and uh, well, let's get started. Generally speaking, for article writing, I like using the Philippines, and the reason is um, Philippines. In the Philippines, English English is one of the national languages, and pretty much everybody online um, from there has a pretty good understanding and grasp of the English language. Of course, their English is not going to be as perfect as you know maybe. Um, you know, someone who's living in the States or in the UK, but it still works nicely and gets the job done rather well. And you, could, you of course, can go through and make any tweaks as you need uh, afterwards. Um, so what we're going to do here is, let's see here, um, I mean, really, you can do a few things. You can really browse, um, or you can just straight out post a job right away and get started. But just to give you an idea, here's the types of people you can find on here. Pretty much everything, if um and then some. I mean, web design, web programming, desktop applications, game development. I mean, you can have someone program an iPhone app, app for you, make an iPhone game for you. You can have somebody ghostwrite a book for you. It's pretty amazing. Uh, now, in this particular example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find somebody. Let me minimize my uh, recording window here. I'm going to find somebody to write an article for my new website, BlueYetiMicrophone.net. I actually wrote these first two articles myself. I've got one which is simply reviewing the microphone. It looks great, right? Then I've got another one simply giving stats about the microphone itself. <laughs> And you want to make sure when you add these items, when you upload your your image, your uh, your articles, make sure you add images. As you can see, it gives it a really professional look. Add videos; it keeps people engaged on the site longer. <laughs> and um, yeah, make sure you're setting it up as nicely as possible. I mean, if you look at my site here, BlueYetiMicrophone.net, feel free to take a look at it for an example. In fact, one thing I did as well, off topic here, is this image right here. I made myself using Paint. I just simply typed in the text right here and I added an image from Amazon.com. It took me 15 seconds to get. When people click on this, it takes them straight to the product uh, the product page within Amazon where they can then read more reviews. So that's pretty powerful and that Amazon logo right there helps to uh, improve trust and relationship and it re it's really going to help you quickly <clears throat> to... Uh, get sales. So anyways, back on topic here. Uh, I'm simply going to go ahead and post the job since I know exactly what I want. Um, so we're going to simply go to job postings. We're going to click on post a job <clears throat> and we're going to go to category. Let's see what's this going to be writing and translation. <clears throat> <clears throat> Excuse me. I got a little cold here. And we're going to go to website content. Now when you're making the posting, make sure you are as polite as possible. If you're a jerk or if you're demanding, no one's going to want to work for you and they're certainly not going to want to come back if you're a jerk when you work with them. <laughs> so, <clears throat> actually I'm going to get two articles I think here. Hmm. Oh, one or two. Normally what I would do is, I mean, in this particular article, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write about the Blue Yeti Pro microphone, which is a $250 product. I'm going to actually have them write for me on the phrase Blue Yeti Pro Review. Now, that's going to benefit me in a few ways. If you look at these keywords here, Blue Yeti Pro Review, when they write about that, they're also going to be writing the same time about Blue Yeti Pro. 
They're also going to be writing about Yeti Pro, and they're also going to be writing about Yeti Pro Review. So by simply having them target this one four-word phrase right here, we're actually targeting one, two, three, four individual phrases. <laughs> Let's do a little, a little quick math real quick here. I'm going to look at the local searches. I don't really care about global. I'm looking at local for myself within the U.S. So Yeti Pro, 880 searches per month. Blue Yeti Pro, 1,000 searches per month. And we'll take that 110 plus that 210. And right there, by targeting one little phrase, if we get ranks for that, that's going to easily get us 20. Um, we're going to easily get 45% of the search volume per month. It's easily going to get me a thousand hits per month. <laughs> easily. Now you know what, because these phrases are so freaking similar in this case, I'm just going to ask them to go with simply this single phrase right here by itself, Blue Yeti Pro Review. I'm going to make sure they reference my own site. Let me go back to it here. I'm going to have them reference my own site right here. Um, you know, basically giving some dimensions, giving some examples, uh, telling them why they like it, why uh, they don't like it, etc., etc., and uh, they should give me something nice within a couple of days. So in this example, I'm going to be kind of cheap. I'm just going to ask for one article. Need one electronic device. All right, we're going to keep it simple. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this while I type real quick. I'll be back in a sec. All right, guys, and I am back. Now, let me show you what I did real quick here. I was pretty specific but pretty vague at the same time. I said, good morning, contractors. I am looking to have one simple article written. Actually, I need to add to that um, 500 to 600 words. <laughs> Reviewing an electronic product. I will give you information on the product and an example of what I like once I accept you. And here's what you want to add. If you do well on this article, there will be more work for you in the future. That's going to motivate them to do a good job and to really get your attention. Thank you very much, Jeff. Now, what I did was, if you look at the PS here, please write, Hello, Sir Jeff, in the subject of your email to me. All others will be deleted. You're going to get a lot of people that go through and apply to every single uh, application they see in hopes of getting work. And what this does is I'm going to say, hey, listen, if you write, hello, Sir Jeff, I'm going to read it. If not, I'm not going to. Basically, that will show you who read the job application or who did not read it. And if anyone applies without having that subject line, hello, Sir Jeff, um, in the subject, I'm going to delete it. Anyone that does, I'm, of course, going to accept it. And by the way, something about the Philippines, um, who I'm going to be looking for for my writers here, very, very polite, very professional. If you do work with Philippines, expect them to call you sir or ma'am. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. It's kind of uh, funny at first for us, but just get used to it and just be polite. And uh, yeah, so check it out. So we're going to go ahead and post this up here. Uh, now, for skills required here, I'm going to delete electronics. <laughs> Content writing is pretty much what I'm going to cover. And we're going to select a fixed price. Now, if you're doing SEO, you can simply choose to pay somebody hourly, which is what you would want to do. But we're doing a fixed price since I'm doing just one article. And I'm going to set my price. I don't know. It shows the minimum budget is a five is five US dollars, which is interesting. So in that case, I don't really feel like paying five bucks for one article. Um, so what I'm going to do here is set it to six dollars for the minimum for the budget, and I'm going to actually let me minimize this. You know, I'm just going to go ahead and be bold and give my keywords right here. So we're looking at Blue Yeti Pro review. Two simple articles. No words each keyword or article one. <laughs> All right, so what I'm going to do is since I want to have a second article, I already decided that my Blue Yeti Pro review would be sufficient for that product. So I'm going to go ahead and pause this once again and do some quick research on another product and grab a keyword or two. I'll be back in just a moment. 
Okay, I'm back. Now, this is really cool. This particular product, the Blue Snowball, uh, Blue Yeti Snowball Microphone, is a bit lower priced, it's 75 or so dollars, and it gets searched for a lot more if you look at these keywords here. Of course, you got some of these that are a bit on the competitive side here. Let me check one real quick Snowball Microphone. You know, I want to find some more review keywords. I'll be back in a second here. Okay, and once again, I am back. And as you can see, I found quite a few awesome keywords here. So I think for this particular one, I'm going to have to go with three articles right off the bat and just trust the person. I mean, honestly, nine bucks for three articles, I think is pretty good if I still want to go with three bucks a pop. So let's break this down. For the first keyword here, let's see, we got Snowball Mike, we got Blue Snowball Mike. Um, so honestly, I really want to target that snowball mic phrase right there. However, if I target blue snowball mic, that's going to target that same keyword. I mean, when you want it, when you, I forgot to mention, but when you get an article written, you do not want to target more than two main keywords at once. Now, if you're targeting a long tail keyword, it's quite possible, as you can see I'm doing, to get multiple keywords written about with, while only still targeting two keywords. Let me show you. If we target blue snowball mic, we're also going to be targeting Snowball Mike. So I'm going to go for Blue Snowball Mike. We're going to look at two keywords for each article here. Blue Snowball Mike. And you know, let me go with a very similar here. Blue Snowball Microphone. Uh, those could both get pretty decent traffic here. And of course, uh, let's see, for my next two, I want to find something about review. I got to go with the highest one here. So Blue Snowball Review. And then let's see here, blue snowball microphone review, which is also going to target this one here, and close enough to to that one there. So we got the four keywords here. We're going to select those here, and we're going to remove the brackets. So we're actually going to give someone three articles at once. Now, the, uh, that's going to be pretty helpful because people are going to want to get more um, articles because it's more money. So need three articles SEO written for my website. All right, so we're looking for three <laughs> simple articles. Article one, article two. <clears throat> and article three if you do well on the articles there will be more work for you in the future so the reason I like this is I'm gonna be paying out nine bucks now for three articles which are really gonna be covering a multitude of keywords and this is gonna be very nice so three simple articles written next I forgot to add three simple articles written these must be S E O written and friendly to 500 to 600 keywords each. Or not keywords, but words. You will be reviewing a few electronic products. Please read about them. Below, I will give you the website you'll be writing for and a few examples if I accept you for this job. So we've got keywords, and now generally speaking, you're not going to want to include, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but I, most people will not include the keywords in here. I'm going to, just for the sake of showing them to you, I mean, I'm really, I've got, I've got nothing to hide here. I don't know how many people are trolling uh, job postings, looking for keywords that they can steal, but hey, if they want to, that's fine. I'm doing this more for you guys anyways than myself. So I think this should cover it here. So we got a fixed price. We're going to have website content. SEO friendly. We've got a uh, little bit here. Make sure they write hello, Sir Jeff, in the subject. And the reason is that's kind of a, a, an unusual topic line or subject line most people are probably not going to do that so anyone that says hello sir jeff in the subject i'm going to read anyone else i'm just going to ignore all right so we're going to go ahead and let's see a budget nine dollars estimated end date i mean some people can write them in a few days i'm going to go ahead and give them 
Now, keep in mind, if you're in the U.S. and California, the Philippines are, I think, 16 or 18 hours ahead or so. I mean, right now it's 6 p.m. I believe it's uh, 9 in the morning, maybe 8, maybe 9 or 10 in the morning over there. <laughs> so it's already um, Tuesday. I'm sorry, it's already Monday over there while it's Sunday here. So I'm just going to go ahead and give uh, till Wednesday the 21st just to be safe here. And we're going to leave it public. And we're going to leave this box checked as well to make this visible to search engines. However, if you want to invite specific writers only, you can also do that. But I'm going to leave it as public. Let's go ahead and preview my post real quick, see how it's going to look before we post it. I mean, it's simple. It's short. It's simple. It gives the proper information. Then it shows right here me on the right side, payment you know, verified. I've got a, almost a five-star rating with 19 feedback. I've spent you know, 435 bucks on contracted for 57 hours. Look at that, 435 bucks for 57 hours. What is that on average here? 435 divided by 57 hours. For all the work I've done on here, I've had people do for me. I've paid them an average of $7 an hour, which is freaking amazing if you ask me. So I think that looks good. So we're going to go ahead and close this. Close preview. And let's post this baby up. We're going to click on post the job. Now right away what's going to happen is I might, I'm going to get some options. If I, if I want, I can invite some writers um, myself manually that are you know suggested right here or I can just wait for the content to come in um, I didn't specify but generally speaking when when the when the uh, in, when the people come in I'm gonna look for people from the Philippines and I, I mentioned that before as well so make sure you look for uh, people from countries you know such as the Philippines uh, you know Southeast Asia so in this example I'm not gonna find anybody however um, you know let me think here I'm thinking out loud for a minute bear with me here we I'll show you if you want to find I'll show you, if you want to find somebody manually. Um, you can simply go to find contractors and click on search contractors. In fact, I'm going to find somebody right now and I'm going to invite them manually to apply for my job. So what I'm going to do here is we're going to scroll down. If you look at the right side here, I'm going to try to remember to make my mouse tip yellow so you can see where I'm going here. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to um, kind of tone this down a bit, we're going to sp be more specific as to what we want. So we're going to look for per hour, look for people working for less than five bucks an hour. And what I do is I, I change the per hour, uh, and I usually change the location, I filter the location, um, I believe, well the Philippines is technically Southeast Asia, I believe according to Odesk it is actually going to be considered South Asia. So I'm going to select South Asia, let's see if I'm right here. I might be wrong. Let's see, India. If you guys see anyone from the Philippines, let me know. India, India, Bangladesh, Bangladesh. <laughs> you know, I think I was wrong in this case. Pakistan, so I'm going to unselect South Asia. South Asia, and we're going to go for East Asia instead. Let's see here. Ah, there's my Philippines, my Filipinos. All right, wonderful. So what we can do now is we can sort... Um, we've got people now that are going to be content writers that are working for a fair, very reasonable rate. And by the way, in case you're wondering, three bucks an hour is actually a pretty good rate down there. Uh, don't feel bad about paying that cheap. The cost of living is much less ex less expensive. I mean, for three bucks an hour for a day for 24 bucks, uh, you can really get quite a bit there. You can get a meal for a couple bucks down there. Um, so really, don't feel bad. You're not shortchanging anybody down there. Unless you try to pay them a dollar an hour, then you might be, unless they're new. But I really don't feel bad about this. What I do here is I'm going to look for people that have a good rating. In fact, you know what? Let's go ahead and change things up a bit more. We're going to look for people, since we have a lot of people available here, people with four <clears throat> and five stars uh, in their feedback here. So that's going to narrow things down quite a bit right here. See, data, social media. I don't really care if someone does SEO for this. I want someone that can be a writer for me. Okay, now here's someone who rates a bit more than I would expect, but keep in mind we're offering three bucks an article. Of course, they have to do their research on the product as well. So I'm going to still look for people. Okay, accurate web researcher, data entry. 
Uh, Marlin D blog and article writing. Let's try this. Um, let's just try searching for someone that does article writing <clears throat> and see who we get. And sometimes it might take me 15 or 20 minutes to find someone that I really want to interview for the position, but you're actually able to select multiple people here. Okay, and here's someone. This person might be interesting. 3.33 an hour. She's a writer and a blogger, and this is something I like. She even gave a blog right here. So we're going to check out her blog real quick and see what she writes about and how her writing style is. Okay, now, she's obviously very creative. Let's see. I mean, take a look at this. This is a girl that lives in the Philippines. And uh, this English is actually pretty freaking impressive. So, so far I like this. I'm going to go into her profile here. Carolyn B. I'm actually liking her a lot so far. And we're going to go ahead and take a look at her feedback here. Here's nine 500 word article writing, 24 bucks. Now check this out. She wrote 500 article, 500 word articles, nine of them for 24 bucks. What is that? Uh, I will admit right now math is not my strong point. So we're looking at 24 bucks divided by nine. That's just under three dollars each, two dollars and sixty-six cents each. She wrote those articles for, which means um, she's got no problem taking three bucks a pop. I mean, she's got very, very good feedback here. It was a pleasure to work with you. Five stars, five stars, wonderful, very good. People love this girl, and uh, this is something I like also. In the English spelling test, um, she was in the top twenty percent, um, below average though for the U.S. English basic skills. So. <laughs> I'd be a bit concerned about that, but I mean, I saw her blog, and it sounded pretty nice. And I, I, I do see that she does get some pretty good feedback here. So I'm going to go ahead and contact her. So I'm going to click on Contact right here. Now, when you send somebody a letter, you want to keep in mind, um, this is going to be something that, you, that you're going to want to get their attention. You're going to want to get them to apply because they, of course, do not have to. So with her, I'm just going to do this. Uh, hi. Carolyn, I saw your blog, and I loved it. I also read some of your some of your feedback about your writing, and I am very impressed. I would love it if you would apply. If you would write for me three simple articles and. If you do a good job there. Now keep in mind, this is going to be what this person gets. You want to make sure that you're nice to the person, of course, not that you wouldn't be. You, you, want, to, you want to make them want to work for you in the future as well. So I mentioned right here, if you do a good job, there will be more work in the future. A lot of these people on here do not do full time. They do jobs here and there in order to make their money, but ideally they would love to work for one person writing articles, writing content, doing stuff for one person for eight hours a day as opposed to five or ten different people where they get new stuff and new personalities all the time. So in this case, if I have multiple job postings, you're able to select the job posting right here. Or if I want to create a new one, when I contact her, I can do that as well. But in this case, I'm just going to do this. Send invitation. It's really simple. So there we are. So we have uh, a invitation sent. For Carolyn, I'm asking her to apply for my position, the right for this website. And I'm also going to allow other people to contact me. When they contact you, uh, let's see, I don't have anyone contacting me yet, so I'm going to have to wait. I can't show you quite yet, but you're going to get an email that so-and-so applied for your job. You're going to be able to read their, you know, they're going to probably write you a small little email. Hello, sir, I want to apply for this job, etc., etc. Make sure you take a look at their profile, take a look at their feedback. Like I said, you can then choose to interview them which will let you contact them and ask them some questions personally or maybe even ask them and you know 
well, whatever you want, if, if they're confident or uh, comfortable with your particular topic. And at that point, after you interview them, you can choose to hire them or not. And if you want at that point, you can either close out the job or you can leave it open to hire more people as well. So in this case, I'm fairly confident this person, Carolyn, will be a good writer for me. She's gotten great feedback. I read her blog. Her English skills look pretty freaking amazing to me. And she's willing to do articles for 266 each. And of course, I did offer her more work in the future if she does a great job. In fact, one of my regular writers, Anne, I've been using for over a year now, and I've referred her to probably five other people because she does a great job for me. Um, Anne is also in the Philippines, and she's uh, currently doing her undergraduate. Go her. Go and go. So I'm looking for someone else in the meantime. So guys, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, um, you know, make sure you get signed up down below and go ahead and follow my guidelines here for you know who you're looking for. You can either, like I said, you can either let people apply, or you can do a search manually and find people in the Philippines, which is East Asia, of course. Uh, yeah, the Philippines, which is East Asia, and uh, you can basically contact them directly and ask them to apply for that position if they, of course, have time. So check it out. I'm actually going to make this video part two only. I'm going to do video three next time in the next couple of days, which will be on how you can find SEO outsourcers for literally two bucks an hour, three bucks an hour. But guys, remember, take action here. Um, if you guys want an example of some content I've had written from people in the Philippines. Let me show you one of my examples. If you look at my website, paintzoomsprayer.net. Paintzoomsprayer.net. I had every article on here written except for one. I wrote the one article myself. The rest were written by people in the Philippines by one writer, and then I edit, I edited, I edited them. Jeez, I edited them myself. I'm sorry, I'm kind of stumbling here. I need some water. So check it out. I wrote one of these articles. I've got uh, five or six on there. Go ahead and take a look at the site and try to guess which one I wrote and which one my writer wrote. I guess, I bet you will not be able to guess. You know why? Because they do a damn good job and I make my articles visually impressive and stunning. Pictures, pictures, pictures. So once again guys, if you want to see some examples of stuff I've had written, check out paintzoomsprayer.net. If you want to get started with Odesk, Odesk now, check out the link down below. I'm going to shut up because I need some water. Um, stay tuned in a couple of days for a video on SEO outsourcing, and I will talk to you very soon. Thank you for watching. My name is Jeff.